What's going on guys? Welcome back to Country Bunkers Trains. As you can see, we're not in the train room. <laughs> I figured we'd go on a little trip today. I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I'm headed to my local train dealer. Well, I say local, but he's, he's really not. <laughs> he's about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours away down in Daytona. But no, we're headed to Roundhouse South. Like, as, as I say, my train dealer. Uh, a couple of the items came in that I was on the waiting list for, so I'm headed there to grab them. I'm pretty excited to pick them up. As I've mentioned previously on the channel, I'm a big advocate of supporting the local brick-and-mortar hobby shops. They're disappearing quick, and I don't want to see them all disappear. As I say, this is about a two-hour venture. Yeah, it is a, a bit long of a ride, uh, but I think it's worth it. It makes for a good Saturday morning trip. It usually takes me about five, six hours. Like I say, it's about two hours there, two hours back, and an hour or two there. But I have fun with it. I came across Tony, the owner of Roundhouse South, a couple years ago. Like I say, we used to have uh, an actual local hobby shop about 20 minutes away from the house. But it was pretty sad for model trains, and they ended up closing down. But they were more focused on RC cars, planes, stuff of that nature. So I started looking around online at the time, trying to find another O-Gage dealer here in Florida. And that's when I came ac across Roundhouse South. My family came down one year to visit, and we took a trip down here to Daytona to spend the weekend there. <clears throat> and that's when I came and went and checked out Roundhouse South. As you can see, I, I keep returning. <laughs> Nothing but great things to say about Tony, as well as Mike, the repairman or serviceman there on site. They've always taken really good care of me, have good pricing, very hospitable. Like I say, nothing bad at all to say. It is a little bit of a venture, obviously. <laughs> as I was saying, it takes, eh, it's usually about a five or six hour uh, venture in one trip. Two hours there, two hours back, and an hour there on site. But it's worthwhile. It makes for a fun Saturday morning trip. I usually try and leave around 8 o'clock and usually get back home around 1 or 2. Yeah, it might seem a little extreme, but I'm willing to go that far, you know. When you find somewhere worthwhile shopping at, it, it's worth it to do it. <laughs> like I say, they, they got a service center there on site, and Mike, Mike takes care of everything. And that for itself is worth its weight in gold, in my opinion. I hate sending engines out to get repaired. I'd much rather take it there and drop it off. I can sit there and talk with them. Hell, maybe it's something simple. He can fix it right there while I'm standing there. So, yeah, I, I, I prefer it. I'll take the couple hours and take the trip to go, to go visit the train shop. <laughs> I do apologize if the camera seems a little shaky. I'm not really set up for filming in the car, <laughs> but I'm making do. As I was saying though, if you do ever find yourself down here in Daytona, I would highly recommend paying Roundhouse South a visit. It's a great train store. It's not huge, but it definitely packs one hell of a punch. And as I say, nothing but good things to say about Tony and Mike. Great people. We're almost there. I'll see you guys in a little bit once we are there. Alrighty guys, we made it. Let's go ahead and head inside. Alright, well I'm here till 5. 
check out that wall of goodies. Tony had a few customers in today, as well as had quite a few phone calls. I didn't want to cause a racket or create a scene. <laughs> so I kept quiet while I filmed the footage while roaming around the store. As you can see, it's quite the little slice of O-Gage Heaven, isn't it? <laughs> I have and can spend hours in here drooling over everything. It's all so great. I wanted to take a moment and thank Tony for allowing me to come in and film my trip to his train store today. I really appreciate it. As I've said previously, I'm not here to advertise or nothing like that. I'm just filming what's going on and what I've got going on with my layout and what I'm doing with the trains. But I did want to give Tony a big shout out. I appreciate everything, my man. Thank you. But anyways, guys, sit back and enjoy.
That thing is awesome. He doesn't want to sell it, does he? <laughs> no.
One of my favorite spots is in the back corner of the store. There's a little section allocated to pre-war and post-war Lionel trains. <laughs> of course, you know, that's right up my alley. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. It's cool to see these old engines getting some love and some attention. Well, guys, I made it back home. Another successful trip to the train store. 
<laughs> Once again, I do apologize. The footage was a little lackluster. Tony had some customers in and was taking phone calls. I didn't want to interrupt anybody or cause a scene. <laughs> but here was our take for the day. Some good stuff. I've been on the waiting list for quite a while uh, for another TIU and DCS remote. I actually was waiting on these. This was the original set I was ordering for my layout, but I've been waiting so long. I got tired of waiting, so I bought the DCS system that I have currently installed on eBay a while back. And that's what I've been using. But this came just in the nick of time. As I say, we're looking to expand the power on this layout, and this will work out perfectly. <clears throat> My remote that I have right now, it still works, uh, but I think I'm going to make that one the backup. The thumb wheel is a little touchy or a little bit laggy. Hopefully this will solve that with this one. Nice, brand new. But yeah, we also got a Z1000 brick to power one of the lines. A barrel jack to power adapter cable. And another 24 port terminal block. He didn't have any 12 ports. Like I say, those seem to be a little bit harder to get lately. But we'll make do with that for now. I've also got an old Z750 brick uh, that I haven't used in quite a while. That'll get utilized over here. And I picked up this other adapter cable on one of my last trips. And then I've got another 10 port terminal block that we'll use or utilize for the track system. But yeah, I'm excited. Pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip to Roundhouse South Trains. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Until next time, guys, my name is Zach, and this is Country Bunkers Trains. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you the next go-around.